We will hand the floor to our last speaker, Guillaume Suc, in charge of agricultural machinery for Groupama, and who will present the insurances for robotics and IoT. Good evening. Thank you for Nayo for inviting me to speak tonight. The idea behind my presentation is quite different. I have no new prototype to present to you. But I will try and give you feedback on the existing connected objects. I will digress from the agricultural industry, talk about drones, and from an insurance point of view, what are the main challenges concerning agricultural robots? So from the insurance point of view, and most particularly for Groupama, who is an agricultural insurer, all the robots that we have seen this evening raise many very interesting questions because it will lead us to think about how we can um, develop our insurances uh, due to the fact that you are bringing in changes in behaviors and also at the level of mechanics. So just before talking about drones and robots, I just wanted to mention the different, the importance of connected objects that are very topical uh, points for the group. Insurances linked to connected cars. We have wide experience, more than um, a lot of drivers and insurers who are using connecting systems and who enable us to adapt our offer. You, we are also working on adapted offers when you have a car such as Tesla, we are trying to reduce the risks of accident and try to be more preventive. And this is extremely interesting for us to be able to protect our clients, but also in order to diminish the risks and work on prevention. So these are points that we are following. And then you have mobility and changes in consumption, which are topics brought forth by new technologies. So beyond offers such as pay as you drive, who are going to take into account your behavior behind the wheel. We were talking about big data early on and uh, the shared economy. And we've been working on this uh, topic for our insured members. And this also leads us to change the way we define risks. Do we need more innovative proposals? And this leads us to internet. And just to finish on a more general note, we have IoT and data. Many presentations mention big data. There's always the question and the challenge of data and how it can be used to transform it for it to become a service for our customers. So now if we focus on the robotic element, we were the first element uh, insurer to propose a unique offer, a tailor-made solution. We offered a public liability insurance and as a supplement in insurance for damaged property. So the first part covers the damages to a third party, which is compulsory as an insurance. And then we have the damage part, which will cover the investment made by the farmer or the investor on a new technology in the case of breakage or anything else. So our feedback on this, there was a compulsory insurance on public liability, which helped us to create a need. And then what we realized is that insurance helps new technologies to develop themselves. If it most, is most specifically at the beginning, because they are uh, costly technologies. So our aim is to work with constructors, but also with the clients to reassure them when they invest and when they um, 
decide to bet on these technologies. So the robots are a challenge for, for our group. We wish to work with manufacturers to identify what is different within a robot compared to a tractor, even if it under, undertakes the same kind of works. There's no human being behind them, which means that the behavior is different and the consequences might also be different. We have new technologies, new batteries, and we can see the speed with which we've been working over five years. If we compare the prototype and the new models, we can see that innovation can be very quick, and this leads to the questions of um, liability, what happens if you have a problem with the robot, or if I am the one who creates damages. So these kind, kinds of issues, and it's important for us to have these kinds of feedbacks to see what are the differences in times of in terms of behavior um, between a robot and something that is being driven to be able to adapt our offer, but also accompany innovation. I think that during the roundtables organized tomorrow, we also to, to need to talk about regulation framework, which is important. There's a, an insurance obligation for cars. It's also the case for drones. So all these different topics mean that when we bring innovation forth at such a quick speed, we will have to answer all these questions. Thank you.